Hi, it's Nikki here and welcome to episode three of our Line Manager as Coach series. Why do I have this on my head? <laughs> because what this represents is uh, it's, it's a guessing game. That, that's where this comes from. And when coaching is introduced too early, it can feel like a blinking guessing game for the person that you are trying to coach. It's not comfortable. I remember many years ago when I first started out as a trainer, a uh, senior line manager came and observed me do some training. And at the end of it, he wanted to use his coaching techniques in order to help me to develop the session. And, you know, where, where did it go well? Where could it have gone better? All those kind of things. The trouble was I didn't have enough um, experience, expertise or knowledge of training in order to answer those. So I just felt like I was guessing. And actually, I don't like guessing. I hate guessing games. I, I just want the answer. I either want to be given it or given a uh, research tool to go and find it out for <laughs> myself. So in the end, I did actually have to say to him, like, I'm really sorry, I'm not trying to be awkward here. I do not know what you want me to say. And that's because what I needed right then was I needed feedback and I needed more information. I needed mentoring. And if you haven't seen episodes one and two, you need to go back and watch those before you come back to this one, because that's exactly what we talk about is the setup to doing line manager as coaching successfully. You need to have those in place. Only then can you actually start asking coaching questions. Now, the way that I would approach this is in a two phased element. Phase one is start to introduce your coaching questions at the end of conversations where you've already done your feedback, your mentoring, or you feel as though that person knows the topic well. Um, just start to add in questions that I'm calling them coaching questions, but actually it's not even coaching questions. We're not talking about full on coaching techniques here. And those who are really interested in, in coaching and know all about clean language and you know looped links and, and all that kind of stuff are probably going to turn in their graves when I said that. But actually coaching for line managers is about asking questions in the right place at the right time. So for me, phase one is very much at the end of a conversation, just start to ask some more probing questions. So what haven't we thought of yet? Um, what challenges do you think we're going to come across? Where do you think this could head towards? Obviously, wait for your answers. <laughs> Don't just reel them off like I'm doing. Um, but by starting them at the end of the conversations, what you're doing is you are allowing that person, if they don't know the answer, you're allowing that person to pull on all that information that you've just had in that conversation. And they might just go, uh, you know what, at the beginning of the, the session when you talked about uh, this and that, that's what I think we should do because they haven't got an answer, but they can pull on the resources. The more you do that, the more they will be ready for those particular questions and the more they will think about them. Once you've established that, you then go to phase two, which is actually you bring those coaching questions to the start. So before you've even started to discuss something. So let's say there's a problem with a project. Remember, we had widget problems <laughs> in episode two. Let's say you've still got those widget problems. So rather than sitting down and trying to go through everything and then asking your coaching questions, start off. So Sally, I think we had before um, simple questions. So Sally, tell me where we are with this. OK, what is it that we need to do? Where are our challenges? What do you think we can um, achieve by doing it this way or that way? Just use lots of appropriate questions for them. And if they get stuck, go into mentoring, give them uh, a direct answer if they need to, offer feedback, whatever it is. So it, now you're starting to get an amalgamation of everything. It's really simple when you look at it like that. You don't need a coaching qualification to be a line manager as a coach. You just need to really understand what questions to use and when to, where and when to use them. So in episode four, what we're going to do is we're going to start to look at the building blocks to this. Um, and I've been talking about it all the way through and I'm just going to pull it all together so that we don't have any random question marks left in our little uh, thought bubbles at the end. So join me on that one. If you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do, because then you'll get notifications uh, whenever we have new videos around. And also, if you want to um, connect with me on LinkedIn or send me an email via nikki.forster at curiouslighthouse.co.uk, you are more than welcome to. This is what I do with my clients. Not this. This isn't what I do. Um, but, but talking about this stuff is, is what I do on a day to day basis. So feel free to, to get in touch and I will see you in episode four where we start to pull it all together. <laughs>